what is up YouTube? It is Luke from QC3D hey, coming at you today with a quick tip. I want to share something that has been very helpful to me. It did take me a year and a half to get um, to this tip, but I'm glad I did and I don't want to share it. Um, so I have a mini print farm for Prusa minis that I print a lot of the same items, small items over and over again. And I've always found myself um, having to put files on these thumb drives and swap them around, having to wait until one printer finished a print so I could get the file off of that to print something else on another printer. Uh, it was a nightmare. Um, so what I do now, let me start from kind of the beginning here with my, uh, my files. So on my desktop, I have a folder called 3D Prints. And this has a file for everything that I create or everything that I print. Um, for example, here, I'm going to go into one of my my files here, I created uh, an item that's multiple pieces. In this folder would have all the STL files uh, for all of the pieces I created. It would have G code for all of the items I created. I also have some other image files that I, um, for images I needed to import and, and create this, uh, this item. Um, any marketing photos of the item when it's complete that I'm putting online, things like that. Uh, but the real tip here is uh, how I manage these G-code files on to the USB drives for inside that printer. So uh, a little tip to it here, this 4X, that's key. Uh, so when I create my prints, here's my Prusa slicer. Um, I'll create this print with a single one item on it and save that G-code. That would take me probably in this case, you know, 30 minutes to print. Um, so I've got this 30 minute or two hour time here for four items. So about 30 minutes each. Um, if I need this part quick, I'll print the single uh, file for that off of that USB drive on that. If I have need multiple of these and I need them within about two hours, I know I'm gonna be home and be able to retrieve these off the printer. I'll set it for um, you know this Ford X, meaning four pieces. If I'm going to go to bed and sleep, hopefully eight hours, uh, what I'll do in that case is I'll create a, um, you know, an eight or 12 or, or 16 X version of this. I'll fill the bill plate and allow that to take eight hours to print. So first thing I do when I wake up is I come down and I get the items off my printers and maximize that print time. You know, if I'm if I know I'm going to be leaving for uh, dinner or work or something, I can always just print something with the correct amount of time um, that I know I'll be there to get it, or that I know I'm going to be gone and returning. I'll uh, just to maximize my print time. I don't want any downtime uh, when I'm creating items that I that I need to have to sell. So that's what I do. I save those multiple files. Um, of the 1x, the 4x, the 8 or 12, and the file name always saves with the time in it, which is really good. That's what kind of helps me um, select that from uh, my printer. The printer shows the time, so we can see here I've got a 4x, um, it says 1 hour 57 minutes, so I can see that before I print, uh, maximize my time. Uh, back to my files here, I also have a folder labeled Master Printer. Oops, I totally passed it. And I label that master printer file with a little printer icon. You can change that logo. So this would be my master file. Um, once I add new items to this master file, uh, I'll take all of my, my um, USB drives and bring those over to my computer and put upload them all. So I have all my items all time on there uh, and can maximize my print time. So, hey, that's my quick five-minute tutorial. Thanks for watching.